500 people um, that need to be fed every day, and yet there's a shortage of volunteers. They could use, they could use right now, 30 more volunteers, um, uh, and they would still have work to do. And, be, and doing what I'm doing today, we can start a community conversation. Maybe I can produce a few more volunteers. Maybe I can get a few more folks in our community who are hungry meal they need or the human contact that they desire. Um, I just think it's important. And here's another aspect, another part of the answer to that question. The biggest chunk of the funding that Mobile Meals gets is from Medicaid. You know, depending on how closely you read the newspaper and follow the news, Medicaid is under attack. Politicians in Washington and Columbus can't decide if they're going to keep it, cut it, do away with it, phase it out. Let, you know, those Politicians are famous for arguing about everything, but there is a human cost to their nonsense. And the human cost are when programs like this suffer. So I think elected officials uniquely should spend some time participating uh, in groups like Mobile Meals. You know, give a couple hours and uh, deliver some meals, um, build a, a, a human relationship with someone who needs it, and uh, you know, we'll all be better for it if you do.